So, uh, so I, I founded Hostmaker two years ago. Uh, I come from a hotel background. I went to hotel school in, in Shannon and then uh, was with Starwood Hotels in London and Dubai. Uh, and then after a, a year off for an MBA, I was with Intercontinental Hotels in the, in the global strategy team. And uh, I, I was hearing uh, previously about uh, the culture of innovation or the lack of it in the hotel industry and maybe uh, hotels are slower to adopt uh, what's happening. Uh, and I saw it firsthand 10 years ago when I was, fir when I was first entering uh, Starwoods uh, with uh, the e-commerce uh, growing in, in travel. Uh, the hotels were very concerned about how do you deal with this uh, with people booking online. And Expedia and Booking.com were, were, were growing. Uh, and you would always hear this denial about who books online. Uh, uh, why should we have a website? Uh, why, why should we care about Expedia or Booking.com? Uh, and you see where it is now. And, uh, and I started to hear the same thing when, when Airbnb started to explode uh, three years ago or uh, four years ago when it started to uh, come onto the radar uh, of, uh, of uh, the hotel industry. Uh, and I, I distinctly remember in 2013, uh, the, the CEO of Intercontinental uh, at that time was uh, asked a question by a journalist uh, in one of his uh, media interactions about what do you think about Airbnb? And he had not heard about Airbnb. And at that time it was valued at three billion. Uh, so so that's, that has been very much uh, an interesting uh, observation that I, ha I, I have seen. Uh, and so I was writing a strategy paper on Airbnb's impact on, on hotels. Uh, and uh, really w what it led me to conclude was, uh, firstly, I think it's very much a space that, that hotels should be thinking about. Uh, you know, the, uh, and let me d digress a little bit about, uh, around it, that uh, if you think about the concept of, uh, of a hotel as, as we know it now, it's very much an American concept. It's, very, it's, it's only about 50 years old or 60 years old in, in the lifetime of, of travel. Uh, and so, uh, and it, w it really became mainstream as commercial airlines took off in the late 50s. Uh, and as the American business traveler left their shores, it was, to your point about trust and brand, it was the American brands that went outside with the airlines, with the travelers, and said, hey, here's a place that you might feel safe in. Uh, and I think what has happened over the decades is that as the brands, uh, the hotels evolved, the customer evolved, the hotel brands evolved and they segmented from a luxury segment to a four star to a budget to hostels. Uh, and, uh, and so as we've entered the, the 21st century, I think interesting innovations around trust, around technology uh, that Airbnb uh, has also adopted and, and further exploited, uh, I think is really changing the way people are traveling. People uh, are much more accustomed to adventure they want the unique experience. Uh, they don't want to necessarily be staying in the Holiday Inn or the Marriott. They actually want that experience of, hey, I, I, uh, I stayed on a street where, where a local resident might stay and I went to the bar uh, that, where a local resident might go. Uh, and so I think as uh, that travel experience is evolving, uh, I, I, I felt that, uh, that the hotel experience should also evolve and the hospitality experience should evolve. Uh, and that's where, that's where I felt that, um, that I think, uh, coming back to the point uh, of launching Hostmaker, that within, if you think of Airbnb opening up the homestay category, uh, then hotels should be thinking of homes as one more travel accommodation product. Uh, just like you have a hotel room, you have serviced apartments, the home as its experience of a kitchen, a living room, bedrooms, uh, becomes a travel accommodation product. Uh, so that was, that was one, uh, one conclusion that I drew. A uh, second interesting uh, experience over the last two years of running the business uh, has been how people are actually interacting with their homes uh, and how people are interacting with their cities. Uh, is changing dramatically, and I think this is this is a this question probably has many layers than most people are even exploring right now. Uh, you know, the debate is very polarized sometimes with Airbnb of it's bad or it's good, uh, but I think uh, like we've had experiences of of people who uh, are buying homes 
uh, for themselves, but with the intention of hosting on Airbnb whenever they travel. So it is actually becoming part of people's lives, like just like everyone has a Facebook profile now, that people are now on Airbnb, and they think of buying furniture in their own home so that it would also accommodate the guests when they would come and stay for the few days. Uh, how, uh, where would they put their suitcase? Where would my guest uh, put their clothes? Uh, and these are small things that are changing the way that uh, a homeowner is interacting with their own home. It's no longer perhaps as private a space as people would have thought it would be previously, but also the issue with neighbors. So as uh, maybe you have uh, guests coming in and out of your homes, neighbors are feeling insecure maybe, I don't know who's staying next to me anymore, um, but maybe the, the buildings of the future, the cities of the future will, will evolve uh, to have guests and neighbors and local residents uh, living together. Uh, and so th these, are, these are some of the, the design questions, the technology questions, the hospitality questions that, uh, that arose from, from my time uh, uh, re uh, at, at hotels, but also researching what was happening with the Airbnb space. Uh, and so, we, so I launched Hostmaker two years ago uh, with the intention of really thinking about hospitality management um, in, in the future. Uh, and so we said, this is the homestay market is interesting. Uh, I felt I had some of those skills from my hotel experience. Uh, and so we created Hostmaker. Uh, we launched in London, uh, grew phenomenally in our first year. We raised a couple of rounds of funding. Our most recent round was a million and a half pounds uh, backed by some venture capital funds in London. Uh, and uh, we're now in uh, Rome, uh, Barcelona was launched last year. And our most recent city is uh, Paris. We launched there three months ago. Uh, and all of the cities are growing phenomenally. Uh, travelers are really enjoying this experience of uh, being in a home. Uh, it's a more natural way of, of staying and experiencing. Uh, and also, I think that uh, it's not uh, previously, perhaps, maybe the, uh, the impression was Airbnb is a cheaper alternative. Uh, I don't see that anymore, at least with the travelers who stay in, our, in the homes we manage. Uh, I think it's a better product uh, for particular segments of travelers. So uh, you have families who might want to travel together. Uh, in hotels, you don't guarantee adjoining rooms until the day of the check-in. Uh, so most families, uh, you're on different floors, you keep calling each other, are, are we meeting uh, in the restaurant, in the lobby, are you ready? Uh, completely inconvenient. Uh, you have groups of friends who are traveling or or business travelers who might be staying for longer than a week uh, and uh, are sick of the room service menu every day. They've tried everything many times uh, and maybe want to cook themselves. Uh, so we see that the, the traveler is changing, the way they're using the home experience is changing. Uh, and so we see our role in, uh, in evolving that experience and being managed. Uh, and some of the te uh, tech innovations are coming in where uh, we plug room service or concierge into the home experience and, and create that hotel experience of thank, now. Thank you very much. Thank